So welcome to the Dr. Balan Jalal show. This is an episode that I've been looking forward to with Wim Hof, the Iceman himself, to have this intriguing conversation with, with, with the Iceman, to hear about his personal journey from childhood, you know, what led him to become the Iceman, uh, you know, his daily practices of cold exposure, uh, and yeah, what his overall mission and goal is. So I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, Wim, how are you, my friend? Yeah, very good. Uh... Uh, uh, it is not Jalal, but uh, what is your first name? Hey, Baland. Uh, you can call Baland. me Baland. Baland, yes, yes. So, Wim, tell me a little bit about your childhood. Like, how was your childhood like? How was Wim like as a kid? I'm one of the twins. I, uh, and I was born in a family of, uh, ultimately, uh, nine children. Oh. And with seven boys and two girls, mm -hmm. you get a lot of games a lot of competition yeah. a lot of you know hierarchy and uh, but uh, i think my uh, childhood was really playful good mm -hmm. uh, as it should you know a uh, little money we had but great joy and great pleasure um yeah that's uh, that's the way i grew up but then because we had little money living in uh, in a western country they um, uh, most of the uh, these families then take uh, if you got little money you want to go higher up so yeah. you make your children go to school the best schools yeah uh, go to the university that is the best yes. and that uh, that I, I was not into that yeah i was not into that so i felt the pressure of having to uh, uh, to score Mm. Uh, cognitively yeah. but I, I I did not yeah. I had more a, a sense insight uh, uh, being my, within uh, and what is life about what is the soul yeah 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 what, what is religion you know uh, uh, that's uh, that that nature was with me from very early childhood Mm -hmm. When I was 12, I remember I was reading books of, of psychology yep. and, and going into Hinduism and mm -hmm. uh, into uh, uh, Buddhism and, mm -hmm. uh, and very interested to uh, the Arab, uh, 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 the, the Muslim world mm -hmm. and its culture and mm -hmm. uh, uh, all that. But nobody around me was interested in those things. And I became more strange. Uh, 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 from there on, like a, a, yeah, a strange bird, like a strange bird, but I was flying with wow. that. And when I was 17, mm -hmm. I, I went for the first time into cold water. And that, that really brought me into this deep sense of my physiology. Yep. And that, that opened up so much of my psyche, uh, uh, of what I was looking through, uh, for, uh, through books, uh, mm -hmm. religions, esoteric uh, training uh, mm -hmm. into uh, traditions, languages, anything. Uh, at that moment, I broke it yeah. by going into cold water. Cold water does that. It does it to every person in the world. Yeah. If you go into cold water, it's shocking. It's the first moment, it is shocking. But yeah. it is a way to absolutely uh, 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 activate the deeper physiology inside and then the deeper potential which goes with that comes mm. to you and that, that that is kind of amazing mm. so from 17 on I've been training that was my greatest revelation uh, uh, that was going into the cold psychically I mean mm. and then uh, I kept on doing this for uh, say 25 years from there yes. is when I met a, a newspaper and uh, because I was go uh, really extreme into the cold yep. uh, 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 and testing my mind and my body, yep. uh, uh, the, the newspaper uh, became uh, aware of that and that they made an article out of it. Yep. And then directly there from the uh, same uh, day when the newspaper came out, the television came. Mm. And from there, it didn't stop. Because I, I was doing stuff thought of impossible by humans. So uh, when, I, when I did a lot of documentaries with the TV uh, or, uh, uh, and going around the world to show my exploits mm. and, uh, and uh, records breaking stunts within the cold, mm. 
uh, scientists, science began to become uh, very interested uh, in what I was doing. Of course, mm -hmm. what I was doing was physiologically uh, uh, considered to be impossible. Right, right. So once they began to come into my life and ask me if I could be was subjected to a physiological physiological experiment. Yep. They saw things happening mm. that, which is not in the books. Right. And that is really interesting. That is very interesting. So that that's that's quite a journey. And uh, so really to to get a sense, it seems like it all started with this uh, childhood, which was and I guess uh, difficulty was challenging. It was a rough childhood in a way. Uh, and, and that sort of made you question everything, right? It made you sort of, instead of just living life, you were sort of, you know, questioning everything yeah. around you and, and ha having that curiosity built from that, that which, is, which is quite interesting. Um, lovely. It no, is. I, that's lovely, Wim. No, I can definitely relate to that. I, I came, my parents came to Europe as refugees. So we started from the bottom too. And also had sort of a troubling life. And I think that does put some, give you something extra. Now- um, Wow, yeah, I, I have to say, I really have respect for what you do. Thank you. You are a, a great scientist, an investigator of life and sleep, which is life. If you cannot sleep well, you cannot energize well. You cannot charge up well. And that affects absolutely the quality of life and uh, anything you got to do, you, you need your energy to do that. So sleep is very important. But the, the, uh, coming from immigrants, mm. uh, it's coming from nothing. Yeah. From a, uh, from a bum that exploded and there is nothing. And then you have to restart everything. And you did well. So Thank I you. respect you. But, and even uh, respect more your father and your mother. Yeah, you know, my, my parents, Wim, they, they, uh, they, they sacrificed for us in ways that is very hard to really put words on. They gave, they gave everything for, for us to have a good life. And wow. I'm forever grateful for what they did. And, and, uh, but you, you tell me, so tell me how about, because I, I, I know your journey too and, and sort of what happened to your wife and, and how that was yeah. for you a, a trigger. So, so tell me how, how is your, your relationship with your wife when she passed, you had to sort of, uh, you had your kids to take care of. And how was that period for you? How, how was that struggle? That is, that, that is a difficult period, like for anybody. If your wife is going to suicide yeah. and kiss her ki kids goodbye and jump from eight stories down, yeah. that, and then that is an accumulation of non-worked out terror in the, in the head. Yeah. And how... And the whole psychiatry was not able to treat that. They were not able to get it down. So she took her life while she was in love with her children. Imagine, I was heartbroken, of course. And deeply, more than deeply affected is the mind is not able to cope with that. But the cold water does. Cold water brings you in a survival mode. Yeah. in a non-thinking mode. And that brings healing. It brings a direct state of adrenaline, uh, being here, being in the moment, no thinking, just surviving. That opened up a, a, a opening where I could heal, where I could feel this deep relaxation, a deep peace, rest, while I was in deep stress. I mean, icy water is go into a very stressful uh, uh, environment, but uh, uh, to have mental and emotional agony is, you, want, you don't want that. That, uh, that is like a plague. And when you go into the cold water, that stops. That's the way I found out there are ways to uh, uh, stop emotional agony. And, yeah. uh, uh, and I did that because I had to, I had to, very little money. I had four children yeah. to grow up. And yeah. uh, uh, what do you got to do? Yeah. I can't just sit besides of the road. I got to, I, I need all the energy of the world to be, uh, to have the energy and of the father and of the mother and of the, uh, of healing the emotional pain. Because the children also 
where it goes through their trauma. So <clears throat> cold water and, and, and the breathing exercises in, in a real a military discipline, that's what I did, yeah. really uh, gave me the opportunity to heal myself very quickly and uh, to, to get my energy supply every day done. And from there, in time, you work out the agony, which is no longer a, a instant agony, but uh, stored away to be processed when you have the time. And this is what I did. And then, uh, 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 now we are doing great uh, in the whole world. We and I work with all those children. Yeah. They are growing up and they are getting families themselves now. And we work all, uh, always together. We are happy, strong and healthy. And we got great goals. We healed so many people. But back then in the darkness, it was the a, a cold and the, and the breathing that gave the light, yeah. that, gave, uh, that gave the presence, the purpose of life back in the everyday life. That's incredible. That's incredible. So it's almost like you had to go through that darkness, that overwhelming pain in order to become, you know, the person that you are today. You know, the, 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 the suffering was necessary. It was necessary for you to then... Yeah go from there and then discover the ice, which then allowed you to, as you say, suspend, think, suspend thinking, suspend uh, any kind of rumination, worrying, and just be present in the very, uh, you know, in the, in the, in the moment. And you know, you know, Wim, in our uh, research, in our work, we very much work on this idea of being present in the very, you know, in the present moment, stop rumination, you know, the default mode network in the brain, start overthinking. And in a way that's the, the ICE uh, method uh, that, that you have, you know, that you're using this ICE, uh, ICE exposure is, is, is a way of forcing yourself to suspend your thinking, your rumination, your thinking, your worrying, uh, even exactly. in a way, the ego, the ego is in a way this temporarily dissolved, so to speak, uh, and 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 uh, and that's through the ice and and so, and, and also uh, amazingly with this ice technique, uh, you have um, uh, certain sort of norepinephrine release that's that's very high, sort of this in in a stress in a controlled stress uh, situation. Can you talk about that a little bit? That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, uh, what happens is that the when you go into cold uh, icy water, mm. the, uh, uh, the 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 adrenaline or mm. epinephrine it goes up five hundred forty percent. Oh, is that right? Yes, that's science. Mm. Uh, uh, and uh, the dopamine goes up two hundred fifty percent. Okay. And uh, what do you need when you are depressed? You need more adrenaline. A, a penifrin mm. and a, a dopamine. So, so this is the way we can a, a, a learn to get our sub hormonal supply, which is lacking because of the depression. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so emotional agony creates a, hormo a hormonal imbalance, and that leads up to uh, 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 to uh, depression uh, itself, mm. and so. Uh, the cold water brings us back to a direct adrenal spike, adrenaline spike, yep. which resets the body. Yes. And, uh, and uh, when that happens, hmm. uh, emotional agony is dangerous. Yeah. Like, uh, uh, like any bacteria, emotional uh, uh, agony, hmm. it, it doesn't let you be in the moment alert. Right. And we are mammals. So... If you uh, are in a danger, you are not able to function well. Yep. So when we uh, activate, learn to activate the adrenal axis, the adrenal spike, spike the adrenaline, we reset our body. And uh, with that, it rebalances anything that is out of balance. That yeah. could be the, the hormonal imbalance caused by uh, any neurological input, say, uh, the death of your wife, or uh, mm -hmm. you got the sack, or you are uh, every day in a congestion, or uh, you don't know what to do uh, in your life. 
It all has neurological consequences. And the neurology is very uh, uh, directly uh, uh, connected to our hormonal uh, secretions. So uh, uh, through going into the cold, where yeah. people learn to reset their body to, the, uh, to become the, uh, 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 the utmost functionality of the body in that moment to face the danger. That's what the adrenal, uh, adrenaline spike does. And that's what cold activates. Not only the cold, also the uh, breathing exercises mm -hmm. are able to go deeply within the adrenal axis and activate and thus reset the body. And that, that is, it's such a dimension of possibilities for those who are unnecessarily plagued by emotional agony in mm -hmm. any way yeah. or mental agony, mental disorders in yeah. any way. It, is, it has such a, a, a great dimension of possibilities of power. Uh, we really should look into that much more. It's natural, no side effects, and anybody can do it. Yeah, you know, Wim, I saw some of your papers uh, and, and there was this paper about how I believe the breathing was uh, the, the level of uh, noradrenaline that was released from, from these breathing techniques and how you were able to withstand the cold. In fact, uh, you were exposed to cold and you uh, withheld your body temperature, uh, which did not uh, change even though you were exposed to this cold. And they saw, uh, I think maybe in the same or another study that you were able to uh, voluntarily uh, release uh, um, adrenaline or was it nor uh, so epinephrine and noradrenaline and basically what you're doing you are able to tap into an inflammatory uh, anti-inflammatory system uh, where yes you, uh, you know um, so that this is this is wonderful you know uh, these days when there's a lot of uh, work on the role of uh, inflammation in psychopathology and it's no longer this idea that uh you know, that, that's that it's mainly an association that, you know, depression or whatever is associated. But, you know, it seems like potentially that it can even be a causal thing where if you have low grade inflammation, well, then that perhaps could even trigger uh, depressive symptoms and things like that. So, uh, you know, potentially if you could, you know, uh, voluntarily uh, have this release of a norepinephrine or adrenaline, you know, and in that way, sort of, uh, um, you know, you know, having an anti, you know an anti-inflammatory uh, response. Well, that that would yes. be very useful. It has been shown very clearly that a E. coli bacteria injected, which causes uh, inflammation, mm -hmm. uh, 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 strong inflammation for three to six hours in a controlled experiment. Yes, uh, and the toxemia experiment. Yeah. It has been shown that we were the first to bring that voluntarily down within 15 minutes wow. through deep breathing exercises. We were able uh, to uh, influence the uh, interleukin number six, number eight, number 10, the uh, tumor necrosis factor, uh, activate the uh, 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 NF-kappa B, uh, uh, all those things, you know, deep me mechanics of the, of the cell and around uh, that, that is possible just by voluntary, uh, specific kind of breathing techniques. I That's mean, what these people they did just in a couple of days of training. And they were able to uh, tap into the autonomic nervous system. Yeah. And with that, the innate immune system, mm -hmm. which is a big problem right now in the world. Yes. And now there is a natural way to tap in and to have actually access to the button of how much influence do you want to have in the inflammatory markers to bring it down. Mm. Just breathe more and deeper, and then you bring it down. And that, that, that is open for much more research. It, should, it doesn't make money, but it brings a lot of relief to those who unnecessarily are suffering. That's what I found by doing this uh, after the, the death of my wife. And wow. I found great relief uh, 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 of anxiety, 
and a deep misery and agony, mm. heart pain mm. uh, through doing these breathing uh, techniques. And with that, I now bring it to the world through comparative studies. And then you can see there is no speculation about it. Inflammation, if we talk about inflammation and how to bring it down, that's what we have shown. And inflammation kills 60 to 70 million people a year. That's yeah. much more than any COVID or anything that is going on. And it's inflammation. Now, inflammation can be brought down within 15 minutes. It's just a matter, we need to research this more, but people really, uh, scientists really should be on this. Yeah, but so you know, it has been shown. Absolutely, and this is what I love about what you do is the fact that um, you know you are a man that uh, loves science, that you wanna go through science and not, you don't just you know speak and uh, you're sort of, you're wanting that scientific corroboration of your, your, your method, which is wonderful. And I think, uh, you definitely need to be commended for that. That's amazing. And, you know, science is such a beautiful tool that we have at our hands and it allows us to test things and make sure that they actually work. And, 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 and these studies you have, 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 you know, been part of are, are great and we should just do more research and find, find ways like this that are, you know, uh, low cost at low cost potentially even free right you could do it at home and and this is also in my own research when i, I work on things because uh that that are low cost that are potentially you know even free to people people uh, techniques people can use at home because this is the way you can reach a lot of people uh and you can help people that are not helped today you know people that are suffering around the world um, and, and I'm sure your childhood, your, your own challenges, your own suffering, your, your, you know, the thing you had to go through with your wife all led to greater empathy and wanting to help people instead of, you know, merely make money or whatever it is, but finding uh, a low cost, uh, simple, you know, solution that people can benefit fit from. Is that right? Is that, is that empathy that, you know, the suffering and your challenges with that, was that part of, part of you wanted to, you, you wanted to find a treatment that people can benefit uh, from widely, more widely? Oh yeah, absolutely. Empathy. It is a, uh, it's not an abstract kind of characteristic of myself. It is, hey, this works. This works. It's love. It's love, it's love that is able to guarantee uh, people's uh, benefits to increase their health, happiness, and strength. Yeah. Let, uh, let us see health, what is health? Health is a, a better control over the immune system, yeah. guarantees much more health. That is one, we showed that. Two, a, a better control over the endocrine system, the hormonal system, yeah. it makes people able to activate much more say serotonin, uh, dopamine, uh, even opioids, yep. which we have shown, cannabinoids and all that, that that's, we have shown that, I've shown that. And that uh, strength, what is strength? Strength is the uh, ability to generate more energy within yourself at will. And, and through these breathing techniques, you get all the energy you need. You feel cleansed, everything flows a lot better, you go into regular cold showers, mm. you get so much energy because of the vascular system's tone being optimized and thus the transportation of minerals, vitamins and oxygen goes a lot better, creating a lot more uh, energy, logical. And then the heart rate, so stress down, energy up. This is, uh, is this empathy? Is this love? I think so, yes, I think we need to bring people to the understanding that they are able to become much more independent of outside sources to mm. guarantee happiness, strength, and health for our own children, for mm. our future generations to be independent, to have a much greater autonomy over themselves. That's what, uh, what I uh, preach. That is what I bring through the uh, met a meticulous uh, 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 microscope of science. And thus, there is no speculation about it. It is empathy, it is love, but now backed up with science. So no speculation. 
Yeah, that's great. No, that's amazing. And in that way, we are, you know, similar, you and I, we, we, we both men who like to think about certain things, find interventions to help humanity, but we want to do it through science because we know science is a powerful truth, a, a, a powerful tool to get a truth in a way, right? We, we are yeah. not afraid of the truth. We want the truth to tell us what works and what doesn't and science can set, set, uh, you know, certainly help us in that regard. So, so that's amazing. And so Wim, now, um, I would like to know a little bit about like your, how is your daily routine? Like, like who is Wim when he wakes up in the morning? Like what, what do you do of like routines? Like what kind of cold exposure do you actually do and, and breathing techniques and stuff like that? So, yeah. Yeah, I, I like, uh, uh, I like training. Uh, I like it. And um, uh, I have to say, I'm very strong. I'm 62 years, very strong man. Because uh, I, I love training. And what is training? Tra mm. If you are able to regulate your blood flow better yeah. through your body and uh, uh, create a better pH level within yeah. the blood and yeah. then relate it uh, 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 with the control of the breath, yeah. then, it, then it's so nice to uh, bring in this flow inside and then mirror it in say exercise training and or going into an ice bath yes and be uh, 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 those are powers they come to me and then i am uh, adapting uh, from the inside that i got to do every day i want my inner power consciously brought to the best every day and i want to be in charge at that moment it's like meditation in full action and in, in, in physics, full action is peace. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's what I do with my body. So I do flexibility, I'm 62. I, I, I do splits in all kinds of ways. I stand on one arm. I, I, I pull with one arm, 61 kilos today. And uh, I got here today, I'm training these uh, extreme sportsmen and they cannot do it. <laughs> and me, <laughs> <hey>. <laughs> The, the thing is, I want to get everything out of life every day. And I just sung, made, uh, I sang for the people yeah. on the guitar. And uh, a very nice song. And uh, most of the words I just come up with. Because I want to be in the moment, like rapping. But then melodiously, I do it. And, uh, and then I, I got, my oldest son is 38. My youngest son is three years. Mm. Imagine. And wow. he's a rebel. <laughs> he goes everywhere and when he can create chaos he does it yeah. and i i'm the i'm the cleaner at that moment <laughs> yeah. but i'm playing a lot with him i i i, I love to play with him I, I know his energy i like his energy i love his energy so and i got a lovely wife and i got and i love gardening I'm gardening uh, yes uh, gardening you know plants trees and all flowers and it just uh, it, it, the wonders of life itself. I see. What's the, name, what's the name of your kid? The the three year old Eden. 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 Eden like the Eden. Garden of Eden. And how is he? Like yes. is he is he fun? So you say he's very fun to play with. He makes you happy, huh? Oh yeah, man. He is he is just ridiculously cute every time. And that's what we got to do. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jalant. Uh, 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 yeah. Is it Jalant? Uh, uh, Balan Jalal. You you call me. Oh yeah, Balan Jalal. Yeah. yeah. Balak, ba yeah, Balak. Uh, that's what it is all about. We have to protect the innocence. Mm. We have to protect the soul. But it, uh, it seems to be an, uh, uh, something abstract, and it is not. Right. It is the source of life. It's the purpose of life. And yeah. uh, the children, they should grow up in uh, happiness, in strength, in health, in love itself. And then they will become adults of love. I agree with you, but I think a lot of people these days get confused about the priorities in life. I mean, yes, we can have a big mission of wanting to help people in psychiatry, whether it be through sleep paralysis that I work on or whether it's your cold methods. We have these big visions, but we have to start at home with our kids and our, our families. I don't have kids myself, but you know, with our families, uh, take, care, take care of them and, and, and through that, that love, once you have that in place, well then, you can build uh, on that. Isn't that true? Would you agree? No, absolutely. It begins with the children. And so uh, uh, what I say always is uh, uh, 
in primary school, they should not only learn about mathematics and history and language, yeah. but about happiness, strength, and health. Yeah, no, I agree. If they are able to control those processes of the immune system, endocrine system, and yeah. energy systems inside, which is very tangible, you yeah. can measure it, you can yeah. look at, at it, you can measure the kids if they have the control, etc. if they are out of balance, and very soon they have an absolute sense of autonomy. Then when you get the sack later or something bad happens, you maintain in your, uh, the control of your emotion, of your energy, and you don't become sick. You don't become mental uh, uh, disordered because of whatever is happening, because you know your core. And that's what we have to bring to the children, that they never have to uh, leave the, the, the bubble of love, love composed by happiness, strength, and health. Absolutely, yes. No, I agree. And I, and I love that. The fact that you, on the one hand, you know, you emphasize empathy, love, kindness, you sort of instilling these the principles in your children and kids. So they have that core foundation. And then, and then at the same time, when they are old enough, you uh, expose them to the cold. So they go through this hermetic stressor to be able to with, with, you know, withstand the stressors that are, you know, and then yes. will come in life, you know, so, so that's exactly that's, that's amazing. And, and so um, I, I love, you know, the fact that you are so much into out of box thinking, you know, and thinking out of the box. And that's something that you st stand for being creative and, you know, thinking out of the, the ordinary sort of guidance yeah. that society gives us. So, so how can we do more of that? And how can I, for example, when I interact with students at the university, when I go give a lecture or uh, do research and meet my colleagues, how can I also instill that creativity to others? And how do I become more creative? Because as scientists, we'd love to be more creative, you know, and that's... Yes, here's a study they did in, uh, in Hanover on the breathing. Yep. And the breathing showed that uh, we are able uh, actively and consciously to create 100% neural activity in the brain. Mm. So in, in cases where people have to think, 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 we become sore after performance. Yep. So the pH levels, uh, they go down because of uh, arduous uh, neural activity. Yep. For example, if you do the breathing, you fresh up. They, I heard this, you know, for entrepreneurs, they are a lot of behind the screen uh, all day and at two o'clock in the afternoon, they are very fatigued yep. in their head. Yep. Now, what they do, 20 minutes of this breathing mm -hmm. and they are fresh for the rest of the day. That's so where, where uh, the, the creativity is always there, but it needs, it, it needs a fresh neural activity in the right pH level in the brain. When that goes fast, you've got fast thinking. You see imaging. You can go past your regulations. You can go past your conditioned uh, neural, uh, uh, neural imaging of yourself. Yep. You can see more. You can create. You can bring things together. That's neural activity. Yes. So what I say to the students, just breathe. Then you get the autonomous uh, power of creativity or the, uh, 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 the, the neural flexibility in your own mind. And then the magic will happen. Wow. So that, through that breathing, no, I mean, definitely. And, and so it's, it's a part of it. And, and also, uh, yeah, I think breathing, having a, a um, uh, and, and, but also I feel like there's more. It's, it's something about your personality, though, that, that, that also the fact that you got to the, these breathing techniques, there's something about your personality and the way you think. And, and I wonder whether maybe that's just uh, the, the way you are, uh, where you are not afraid of being yourself, expressing yourself, expressing, yes. having, having these. Uh, I'm a soul, Jalan, I'm a soul. Mm. And a soul doesn't die. It's everlasting, it's unbreakable. It's, it goes beyond our perception of what we can think of because yeah. it always has been there. What, what is the definition of always, you know? All that, those things. In the end, I just want to be fearless. 
I'm fearless. I'm proud to be the soul which resides within me. And I want to pass it to my children. I want them to have a great mastery over their minds and being kind within. Yeah. Being to kind. be strong in the body yeah. and to be kind to others and to have so much energy. Yeah. Of course, they radiate it everywhere to help because they got plenty for themselves already done. Yeah. So that, that is my, my drive is, is the soul. It was my mother. I, 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 I was born one of the twins yeah. and I almost died uh, during uh, the child birth because yeah. they never suspected another child to come. Yeah. And then uh, they rushed me through the, uh, to the operation room yeah. and my mother was uh, uh, in fear because they were going to make a cesarean mm. and to get me out in uh, that way. Otherwise I would die in the womb. But just before uh, entering into the operation room, she prayed, she invocated. She said, oh God, let this child live. I will make him a missionary. And boom, there I was in the cold of the hall, purple with those words. I mean, that has affected my being in the psych without my knowledge of it. It has tattooed deeply on my soul. And that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm making my mother proud. Well, there's definitely nothing greater in this world than making your, your parents uh, and your mother proud. And, and a mother's prayer, uh, you know, there's nothing like it. The mother's love for a child is unbelievable. Uh, yes. And since you're, uh, and now you're, you're working to make her proud through your actions, uh, and, and I feel like also there's an element of you because perhaps seeing your wife pass away that you've yeah. seen death, you've been face to face with death. So nothing in this world can scare you anymore. You, you've sort of, you're not afraid of being who you are because you've faced, you've seen death so close. Yeah. And, and I can relate to that coming from, from the stuff that I've seen and the horrors that I've seen. You know, my parents came from war. They've seen war, death, all that stuff. In Where, what, what country? The Kurds from Iraq, and uh, they came as refugees wow. to, to Copenhagen. I grew up in, in a ghetto-like area, very tough. I would see a lot of difficult stuff in my life. But my parents were so good. They took care of me uh, and made sure that I did, did not become criminal like a lot of people did become. And, and today, I do what I do because of my parents. And I want to give back to the people of the community. I want to lift people up who are suffering, uh, people in the ghetto, uh, ghetto children, people that are that's my goal. And I feel like for you, for you, it's a similar thing. I mean, it's just because you've, you've seen tough things like that, that you have lost that fear of judgment, societal judgment. It doesn't care. Who cares? You're going to die anyway. And you've seen that and you've experienced it. And so it brought you to the water. And now, and that, you know, now you've, you've shared this knowledge with the world and, and through science, which, uh, which I love and which you, which you love too. So so that's yeah. amazing. And so we've sort of touched upon this a little bit, but what is the mission now? Uh, not only with the Wim Hof technique, the breathing, uh, the uh, meditation and the ice exposure, but like, uh, well, I guess, how do you bring that to the world and what is the overall mission, big picture? Yes, uh, I'm, uh, I, we recently, uh, I, um, uh, we signed a contract with the BBC Mm -hmm. to make uh, 36 uh, programs with them okay. uh, throughout the world, wherein I will show that uh, TV personalities with ailments mm -hmm. can be cured where through the uh, existing medical establishment, they cannot, only by pills and uh, medicines. And yeah. I will show that I uh, will give them the tools to naturally take over the control within, over their immune system and yeah. heal themselves. Yeah. So uh, it, it's going to be a show and the show is called Wim Hof Super Survival. That is a, a, a 36 programs with uh, possibly it's going to be in America also and uh, 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 in Asia. It's going to be in Japan, in Australia, in yeah. Europe. Uh, yeah. It's going to be everywhere. So with that, I will uh, reach hundreds of millions of people. I already do this. 100 million people, yeah. but I want to reach billions of people within two years. Next year also comes out a Hollywood 
film about my life. That's uh, somebody is playing that, uh, Joseph Fiennes, mm -hmm. and that, once again, is a, a, a great way to spread yeah. natural techniques yes. that enables people to uh, unlock a, a much deeper potential, and anybody can do it. So it's very accessible, very effective, and very powerful. And beyond, uh, uh, besides of uh, being uh, scientifically endorsed, because I don't like speculation. So my future is to change the world for the good, to bring happiness, strength, and health to the, uh, not, uh, in a non-dogmatic way to the choice of every person in the world. That is great. That is great. And, and so tell me, are your kids following in your footsteps? Are they also doing these techniques now? Yes, they do. They, uh, uh, two of my daughters have become instructor in the Wim Hof method. Mm -hmm. That's his father's name. And uh, they, they love it. And they, do, uh, they all do it in their own way. And that, right. that is the way it should. But it, uh, it's done with pride and love. That's, the, uh, that, that's what I want. I love it. Great. And another thing, I'm yeah. not afraid to die. I'm afraid not to live. So I'm living every day to the most. That's, that's great. No, no, I, that, is, that is what it's about. Um, no, I, I, I looked at you, the papers that you've done and, and I, that was very impressive. I, obviously, the, you know, in, in the, uh, on social media and stuff, it's been taught so, so, so much about the fact that the, the periaqueductal gray was activated uh, in oh, yeah. during the study and there was a release of uh, endogenous opioids or cannabinoids and how this then down regulates pain and, uh, and, and, you know, and, and leads to these endorphins being released. And there, there was a, uh, I believe a, um, a reduction in insula activation too, when you, you were doing these techniques. So really, really good evidence, I think, uh, in terms of showing how, how you're doing this and, and how these brain mediators, but all that science has been very nicely covered, I think on social media and through your channel and other channels. And what I wanted to really explore with you is like, who, who is the, who is the man behind all of this? And uh, because I could relate to you so much, I've used your techniques for, for a long time. I've on and off. And, and when I use them, I, I do feel better. I feel less inflamed, uh, you know, uh, and it feels very good. So, so I definitely, right. it's definitely great. Um, so you're in, are you in Holland right now? What, what, what are you up to in Holland? What is going on now? I guess it's, uh, it's, it's, it's fall time over there. So what are you doing day to day? Yes. Uh, uh training. I'm uh, into my new book. Okay. A new book is going to be, uh, I'm doing a, 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 a study together with the University of San Francisco yep. with uh, uh, Professor Elisa Ippel, also a doctor, of course. Yep. And um, uh, uh, we are doing a, a paper on, uh, on depression and the DNA, stress and the DNA. Yeah, uh, uh, hormetic stress, as you earlier mentioned. Yep. Yep. And that it is, and it uh, is very, very promising. And with that, we are. Uh, I'm getting into the, the the foundation of my new book, okay. which is going into the depth. Into the depth means into the ancestry, into the gene expressions yep. uh, related to our ancestral uh, heritage. Yeah, uh, that is trauma. Yeah, and trauma uh, is related to in the DNA to gene expressions being closed, proteins. Yep. And we are able now to influence that for the good, for the very good, to be very effective uh, with uh, 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 related to trauma. And uh, another study is being done on uh, this breathing, showing that the cardiovascular system is uh, deeply being exercised through uh, doing this breathing. Yeah. Uh, 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 when the pH goes up and the uh, CO2 goes down, carbon dioxide, Mm -hmm. than the, uh, uh, the 100,000 kilometers or the 70,000 miles of uh, uh, capillaries, veins and arteries, they all constrict extremely. Yeah. And then when we hold our breath, because our pH level is very up, uh, we are very alkaline, there's no trigger for breathing, which is the CO2 uh, trigger. 
uh, then uh, uh, what happens, and they never had seen that before, is that five times more blood is being flushed into the heart and the brain. And that, that you know, cardiovascular related problems or uh, deaths is, is, is disease number one, yeah. cause of death number one in our society. And we just found a great exercise, breathing. So there is so much potential in both psychiatry, inflammation, and cardiovascular related uh, diseases. Man, a science needs to go up that uh, like an eagle on, on, on a fish or a, or, or a puma on a, on a rabbit. Absolutely. Well, uh, Wim, it's, it's been delightful to chat with you. Um, uh, if you have any questions, do let me know. You know, I'm, I'm not normally, I don't normally interview people. I have conversation with scientists, but I just felt compelled to chat with you because the way that, the, the, you know, the way you've influenced my life through these techniques, you know, and it's been lovely to hear your mission uh, and uh, chat to you about all this. And, uh, you know, I hope to uh, run into you someday in person and have a chat. Maybe you can show me some of your eyes techniques. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, been, it's been lovely, you know, to chat. With all my pleasure. We are most welcome to come, and uh, and uh, I love your insights as well, and where you come from. I do respect your father and your mother. I do respect the sacrifice they have done, and the love we are going to bring. Thank you, thank you. Certainly, certainly, we will bring uh, more love to the world. All right, my friend, uh, that's what I we had today. Uh, lovely to chat with you, and uh, yeah, let's keep the conversation going and uh, keep up the wonderful work that you're doing. Right on, my lads. Right on.